Okay, so the main part of our lesson today, we're going to be looking at converting between miles and kilometres. Now, last week you were looking at different measures and converting between <clears throat> different units of length, capacity and mass. And some of you may have already had to go at converting between miles and kilometres if you did section C on Friday. But we're going to get focus on this bit today. OK, so what I'd like you to do is um, have, remember that, so you, know, you might need to write this down in your book, that eight kilometres is roughly five miles. And we can use that to convert uh, different kilometres to miles or vice versa. OK, so if eight kilometres is five miles, then I could divide uh, each side by eight to work out what one kilometre would be. So if I did eight divided by eight would be one, five divided by eight would be 0 0.625 miles. And I could do the same going the other way. So if I wanted to know how many kilometres was in one mile, I could divide both sides by five. So five divided by five would be one mile and eight divided by five would be 1.6. So what I suggest you do is at the top of your page, wherever you're going to do your maths today, just write down these facts so they help you. So you've got them to hand. So one mile is 1.6 kilometres. Or one kilometre is 0 0.065 miles. Or basically the eight kilometres is five miles. So that's going to help you today. So I can use those facts to convert between different um, lengths. OK, so if I if my racetrack is eight miles long in the picture and I want to know how long that is in kilometres, what I would do is first work out uh, or use the fact that um, one mile is 1.6 kilometres. Remember, we wrote that down. So if one mile is 1.6 kilometres, eight miles to work out eight miles, I'd have to times both sides of this equation by eight. So I do one mile times eight, which would be eight miles, and 1.6 times eight, which would be 12.8 kilometres. So if my racetrack was eight miles long, it would be 12.8 kilometres. Okay, let's have a go at a different one. What if my racetrack was 10 kilometres long? What would this length be in miles? So again, if I'm working in kilometres, the best thing to do is remember or write down what is one one kilometre in miles. One kilometre in miles is 0 0.625, which you should have written down before, hopefully. So we can use that fact to help us. If one kilometre is 0 0.625 miles, 10 kilometres are just times both sides by 10. So one times 10 is 10 kilometres. 0 0.625 times 10 would be 6.25 miles because all I'm doing is all my numbers are getting bigger, so they're all going that way. So my decimal moves to there, 6.25. So the length of the track in miles would be 6.25. Here's another one. So you try this one now in your book. The racetrack is seven kilometres long. What would it be in miles? Remember, one kilometre is 0 0.625 miles. So in your book, pause the video and see if you can work out what seven, if seven, if what the seven kilometre track would be in miles. Okay, hopefully you paused the video and you've had a go at this. So let's see if you got it right. If one kilometre is 0 0.0625 miles, seven kilometres, I'd have to times both sides by seven which hopefully gave you an answer of 4.37 miles, sorry, 4.375 miles. Okay, let's have another one. Try this one in your book. The racetrack is 15 miles long. What would that be in kilometres? So remember, one mile is 1.6 kilometres. What would 15 miles be? Have pause the video and have a go. Okay, hopefully you've had a go. Um, 
here, so we've got one mile is 1.6 kilometres. So if I want to find out what 15 miles are, I'd have to times both sides by 15, which should have given you an answer of 24 kilometres. So well done if you got that one right. Have a go at this next one. So I've got the racetrack is 1.6 miles long. What would that be in kilometres? So choose what fact you would need to help you and then work it out. Pause the video and work it out. OK. So 1.6 miles long. So I'd need to know how many kilometres in one mile. So if I've got 1.6 miles, it's a bit tricky. I'd have to times both sides by 1.6. 1.6 times 1.6 is 2.56. Okay, so your answer would be 2.56. Now, what I want you to do is I would like you to have a go at practicing this in your in your on your own. So underneath uh, in your assignment on Shobi, there is a sheet that's got three pages. OK, and as the sh as you do the questions, the first page will start off quite straightforward. The second page will start to get a little bit trickier and the third page are meant to be the hard reasoning questions. So start all of you start on page one and just go as far as you can get. Lots of you will be able to do all three sheets, but not that many questions. But if you get to say part which of the second sheet and you're starting to find it a bit difficult, don't worry, just stop there. Just do what you can. OK. If you need help in, remind, in remembering how to multiply decimals, then make sure you ask the teacher. Okay, remember there's always a teacher online. Okay, yes, it's good luck.